Welcome to Brian and Paul. Today we're going to focus on the differences between happiness and joy. And are there really differences? Paul, I'd really be curious on your understanding or perception and how you see those two words. You know, when I really think of happiness, I think of achieving things, enjoying time with friends, personal interactions outside in the world that cause you levels of happiness. But when I think of joy, I really think of moments with like my wife, my kid, things that are very internal, beyond just happiness, that this extra level, which I would call joy. And I'll share an example of what I mean by that. You know, at work, I was happy at the end of the day to go get a beer and have a great evening with friends. I was happy to reach a goal at work and that felt good. But when it comes to joy, you know, the other day looking at my son, I had an internal emotion of happiness that almost wanted to bring a tear to my eye. And that's where I'd identify joy. I achieved something, not just because I achieved a goal that wanted to be an action. Something is changing my life for me and my family. And it's so internal, a warmth you feel inside. And I go, that, now that's joy. To me, if I really had to balance out, and it's really tough to describe because they're so close, but happiness is a more consistent feeling that you get on a regular basis when positive things happen. Joy is that uncommon, makes you feel warm inside. It's not even just for personal pleasure. It's usually beyond yourself. It makes you feel a level that happiness could never achieve. Happiness is your everyday things that make you feel good. And joy is that internal thing that change your life or, or bring a level of happiness that just your standard day-to-day -day couldn't do for you. From a definition standpoint, happiness, it's basically saying the feeling of being happy. And what stands out to me, we've begun to talk about this concept of words have power. Just from a word definition standpoint, the initial discussion of happy is an adjective. Now, an adjective is based on a noun. So being happy is based on something else. It's interesting that we just had the discussion about excuses. And even an excuse can create happiness because of our validating to ourselves. I see my kids learning how to walk or take their first step. That could be joy and it could be happiness. And happy being delighted, pleased, or glad as over a particular thing, characterized by or indicative of pleasure, contentment, or joy. So joy can create happiness, for example, but you don't necessarily have to be happy if you're experiencing joy. Willingness to be helpful as with assistance, a contribution, or participation. We're talking about an emotion, and both of those are emotions, and part of it is they're synonyms, right? They're interchangeable in a lot of people's minds. Well, joy is actually a noun. So joy is a thing. That's why joy can create happiness because being happy can come from joy since it depends on something else. The emotion of great delight or happiness caused by something exceptionally good or satisfying, keen pleasure, elation. Don't use that word very much, but elation, right? That whole idea just I'm super excited. I'm super pumped up. A source or cause of a keen pleasure, delight, something or someone greatly valued or appreciated. And it's interesting that how well that linked to your definition. When I begin to think about the difference between joy and happiness, the big differentiator is happiness is created by something, an outcome, an action, a thought. Joy is the thought. It is the outcome. It is the thing. But then I think a lot of this then transitions into this whole idea of mindset, how people perceive things. It's interesting that you ended that with mindset. It's making me reevaluate what I was thinking at that moment in a different manner. I think you're absolutely correct. Your mindset will change what identifies as happiness and what identifies as joy. What brings your internal joy and what brings your overall happiness is what you think it is. I have happiness when I get a job that pays well. I have happiness when I meet my goals. I have happiness 
when I'm shaking people's hands and smiling with people and having a good day. Those are all happiness for me. Those things bring me happiness when I'm working. My joy when it comes to working is when I know I'm making an impact. When I'm taught someone something that changed their life and now they're supporting their kids better. I'm changing a business for longevity, knowing that people will have a job that they can maintain and be at for a long time. That's where my joy comes from when I work. The joy of knowing something that I'm doing beyond just something that gives someone a smile, that it creates impact. And that impact brings me joy. When I think of my personal life, I'm happy when my daughter goes outside and has a great day. You know, oh, we go out and we play and she goes, oh, I had a great day. She's got a big old smile. That makes me happy. I'm happy about that. I'm happy when my wife has a good day. She comes home, I had a great day at work or something great happened. But I have internal joy when I see my daughter or son do something that they have never done before. They're recognizing and overcoming a challenge and that light bulb in them comes in and that internal warmth of joy because it's not happiness for me. It's something that I know is experienced in their life in a positive way and it's making me feel good. Or I'm seeing something that they're doing or a passion that comes out that identifies who they are in their personality. That brings me joy. You know, my wife does something not because it gives her a smile on her face, but it, because it's doing something to better her life or better her family's life. That brings me joy because I know she's happy internally about it. And so when I think of those things, it's not the day-to-day -day smiles. It's about what brings that inner warmth and joy. When I really think about it, my happiness starts with a smile. My joy is when it really gets me internal and makes me go deeper. It goes to that idea that happiness is an outcome from something else more, while joy is much more of a internal feeling. And I get they both are because they're both emotions. The value of the joy because of the deeper meaning comes across as more substantiated and potentially long-term, while happiness is almost like a moment in time. And when you described a lot of those aspects of your children having a great day and your wife having a great day, the handshake, it's that experience and momentary joy or happiness that's created versus the impact in your career, the impact you can have on developing your family, your loved ones, relationships, your children. I find my mindset really lines up well. And one of the practices helped transform me. And I've tackled this in many different ways, but the practice of gratitude. I think there's so many times in my life, particularly when I'm not feeling good about something, myself, the world, circumstances, or anything else. One of the things that really stands out in terms of how to transform my perspective and shift my mindset and experience more joy and happiness is when I take the time to be grateful for something. My current thing that I'm working diligently on is laying in bed and always reminding myself to think of three things that I'm really grateful for before I get out of bed. I'm waking up with that conscious thought to take the moment, put myself in a better state and have that appreciation. And I find that that does give me joy because linking it to your point about going outside of myself, I'm grateful for loved ones, friendships career opportunities, learning opportunities, so many things I can be grateful for just to be able to wake up and have a breath and know that so many people don't have that opportunity today that had it yesterday. And shifting my mindset allows me to think about it. And gratitude is certainly one of those aspects that has helped elevate more joy, I think subconsciously and consciously for me, over the last six months and really working to refine that process and figure out something that really worked for me on an even deeper level to get to that point of the deep work of what joy can really bring. Joy is something that could be sustainable. Before I was chasing happiness in my career, but after we did our five whys, that got beyond the happiness portion and got down to what's going to bring joy. And now for what I'm chasing for in careers, I'm looking for the companies that are going to bring me joy now. I can be happy anywhere, but joy is a whole nother level. Joy is feeling great about what I'm doing, knowing that what I'm doing is bringing impact. And I think that's where when we did our five whys, that really drove out what that joy can be and what it is. What I'd really be interested in is finding out what our community and their thoughts are when it comes to joy and happiness and how that impacts their lives, how that impacts their goals. And do they notice shifts from 
gratitude? Do they notice shifts from the difference in happiness and joy and outcomes to create progress? So please jump on, share, comment. We want to hear from you. And if you haven't done it already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.